Ensuring appropriate knee flexion in a transtibial amputee is one of the most challenging aspects of the dynamic alignment process. Static alignment often makes use of the subcutaneous crest of the tibia, or tibial blade, to establish alignment of the residual limb within the prosthesis. The socket is set so that the tibia is tilted slightly forward to avoid a backward thrust during stance. This angular posture of the prosthetic socket, in conjunction with a deliberate anterior translation of the socket relative to the foot, generally succeeds in encouraging tibial progression. It does not, however, result in normal knee flexion during stance, which is invariably significantly less on the amputated side than on the sound limb. The graph shows typical reduced knee flexion on the affected side, illustrated by the purple line, contrasted with near normal sound limb knee flexion, illustrated by the green line. This reduced knee flexion is seen in nearly all persons with a transtibial amputation. Reduced knee flexion is even greater in the individuals with general muscle weakness often a characteristic of dysvascular amputees. In observational analysis, the degree of knee flexion can best be observed by noting heel rise in the sagittal plane during late stance.